This is me, Hailam, or Hainanese noodles. And this takeout favorite is a delicious soy sauce braised noodle dish that is so slurpy and velvety smooth and actually so easy to make. It's usually served with some pickled green chilies, and I'll show you how to make that in this recipe as well. So let's do this. First, let's cut up some vegetables. You can use whatever veggies you like. I am going to be using some chai sim here. It's this Asian leafy green, but it is a little bit too extra, so I'm cutting it in half just like this. I like to separate this thicker stem part from the leafy portions, and you'll see why later on. Next, I have some baby corn here. Oh, you're so cute. And then I am going to be chopping it in half like this and then just throw all of that to one side. Bye. Next, I also have some chilies here. No worries, it's not really spicy. I just want to add a pop of color to my noodles with the bright red. Just slice it like this and that's it. Our veggies are all out of the way. Next, our proteins. I am just going to be using some seafood today. First up, this is fish cake. You can also use fish balls as well. You want to slice it this way. And then done. Keep that to one side. Next, I'm using squid as well. You want to gently pull the head like this and get rid of all of these gross innards. And if you want to use the tentacles, cut right above the eyes just like this. And then you want to scrape out this bony beak part and you have your tentacles. Then remove the squid bone cartilage. And then just slice the squid into rings just like this. And you want to give all of this a nice good wash and we're done. Plus, I have some shrimp here as well. Already peeled, deveined and ready to go here. And that is all of our seafood for today. Okay, so let's cook. Add some oil to a pan and you want to let it get hot over medium to high heat. Once hot, add some onions. I'm using a ready-made onion paste here, but you can use some chopped up onions instead. Some grated ginger. And finally, minced garlic. Give all of that a saute until fragrant. Once fragrant, toss in all of the seafood that we prepared earlier, so the sliced fish cakes, squid, and shrimps. And you want to just give all of that a quick toss. No need to try to cook them through because seafood. Before adding in our sort of harder vegetables, so the baby corn, chai sim stems without the leafy tops, and the red chilies. If you're using chicken or any other meat, you want to make sure you cook it a little longer before adding the vegetables, okay? Give all of that another quick stir-fry to incorporate and then let's add our seasoning sauces next. Oyster sauce first. And then a dark soy sauce. Now dark soy sauce is pretty important here. If you have ketchup manis, that would be best. This is what's going to give the noodles the attractive dark color. Some light soy sauce. Stir all of that to combine and once coated, add water or chicken stock. I don't have ready-made chicken stock here, okay? So I'm just cheating and crumbling in a chicken stock cube instead. This is what makes this dish restaurant quality, okay? The MSG. And some ground white pepper. Anyway, you want to give it all a, a nice good stir and then allow this sauce to come to a bubbly boil. Once it comes to a bubbly boil just like this, go ahead and add in your fresh yellow Hokkien noodles. I'm using a flat version, it's the same as the round ones, variety you know. Give it a gentle a wiggle wiggle if you got it straight out of the packet just like me and then you want to let it sort of unravel in the sauce. Add the leafy portion of the chai sim or whatever leafy vegetables you're using next. And stir through to combine with the sauce. At this stage, I know what you're thinking. What is this soupy noodle? I got you. We are going to be stirring in some cornstarch slurry next. We'll turn this soup into a lusciously smooth gravy. You'll see. Gradually add the cornstarch slurry. You want to give it a stir before you add it in. Give it a stir until you get a nice, glossy, thick gravy just like this. Turn off the heat and whoop, we done! Can you see how good this looks? How silky smooth and luscious this newt's looking. 
Okay, so this is optional, but me, Hailam, or Hainanese noodles are usually served with a side of pickled green chilies, which are actually so stupid easy to make. So first, let's cut up some green chilies. Any green chilies will do, okay? I'm using some Asian spur chilies here, but you can use serrano, jalapeno, all of those kind of green chilies will work here. Then you want to add the green chilies to a heatproof bowl, or if y'all don't have fancy heatproof bowls, just use a saucepan, don't waste your coins. Then pour hot boiling water over the chilies, just enough to submerge the chilies. Give it a swirl, swish swish, let it hang out for about a minute or so, and then drain the green chilies. Next, add some vinegar. Any vinegar will do. I'm using just plain white vinegar, but rice vinegar, apple cider vinegar, they will all work for this. Some salt, some sugar. Give all of that a nice quick stir and that's it. Transfer your green chilies to a glass jar or a ceramic container. Try not to use plastic, okay? We're working with acid here. And then you want to pop this in the fridge minimum for an hour. Best results overnight and ta-da! Once your green chilies have a sad faded green just like this, then our pickled green chilies are done. Super easy, delicious, not spicy, so this is a crowd pleaser. Mi Hai Lam or Hainanese noodles are going to be your new favorite noodle go-to. I'm giving this a garnishing of some fried shallots or shallots depending on where you come from. Some spring onions. And we cannot forget that refreshingly sweet and sour pickled green chilies. So I hope you give this a good go and... Bye. Wait, 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 not bye. If you love this noodle or recipe, listen, you are going to love any of these too. So go click on it next.